In this video, we will see reading and writing of raster data in R. There are many libraries we can use for reading and writing rasters. The most popular is raster and then one is Terra. There are others like stars, but we will discuss these two, raster and Terra in this video. First, we have to install the library raster and then get the library loaded. Then set up your working directory. So this is your folder connection. You have to use set wd and within inverted comma you have to use the folder location. And then you have to take care of this. You have to either use double slash or this one. Not the original but you are copying from the windows. So either it will be double or opposite one. So the function for reading a raster in library raster is raster. Before going ahead, we will see our input data first. See, we are having the input data with us, band 2, band 3, band 4, band 8, then one FCC already we have created, and then true color composite. These data are sent in to a multi-sectoral data. For a small area, I have clipped for this video. So, suppose we are reading the raster, band 2. So, just since I have set the working directly already, so just we have to write the name of the TIFF file within the inverted comma. So we will run it. So one raster layer has been created. Now we can plot it using function plot. So this is your data. We can see the names. So name is Bento. Then the structure using str function. So it will show you the structure. So it is a formal class raster layer. Then number of bands, it is integer and one band is there. Other things you can see here the CRS means coordinate reference system is UTM zone 44 datum wj 64 and unit in meters these are the extents in meters since it's in utm and this is the dimension actually number of rows and number of columns we can also see it by using dim also. so number of rows and number of columns now we will read other bands so we can select these two lines and run so that you can visualize it similarly we can read band number four and then band number eight now this is about reading the single bands how to read already a stack data so just you have to use either function stack or brick so we will use stack first so this is having three bands in true color composite you can see by plotting it, see all the three bands you can plot it. So for plotting it in FCC or RGB, you have to use function plot RGB and then run it. So by default it will be taking the layers as 1, 2, 3 for NIR, red and green. You can also use the function break and you will see the results are same. There are differences in stack and brick that we will be discussing somewhere else in other videos. Similarly, we, will, we can read the FCC. This is also a layer stacked image created here in the video, this one. So I am using function stack, then plot it and plot the FCC now. So it is showing error because color intensity because its a radiometric resolution is high. So first you have to use a stretch function stretch as linear or histogram equal as you can use. So this you have to use. We can also use brick and here I have used the stretch as histogram equal as. So this is histogram equal as and this is linear. 
Now, if you want to create the layer stack, so we have already read V2, V3, V4, and V8 of Sentinel data. So we can stack them into one. So suppose we want to stack 8, 4, 3. So we, we can stack like this. Stack V8, V4, V3. These are, are the objects we have created here. So like I have assigned the name of FCC.n. Then run it. Then plot. Now you can see the band names. Like band 8, band 4, band 3. We can also have more than three layers, n number of layers. Since in we are having four layers, we will be adding all them to create a stack. Now we, we can plot in different combinations. Suppose we are using this band 4, band 3 and band 2 in sequence. Then it will be a true color composite. We can change again like this. Means 1, 2, 3 and then like 4, 1, 3. So this is the your stack. This is R, G means which band you are assigning to the R, G and V channels in sequence. So that you have to write with commas and then stretch you have to use any linear or histogram. So this is the sequence. Now we have to write raster. So use the stack one, then name of output raster and overwrite is, is equal to true I have written because if you want to rewrite it so we can write here a stack so it has been created now you see the latest one is layer stack we can also write the rasters or save these rasters by individual bands so that you have to use by layer is equal to true and for writing raster you know this function is write raster so we can use this also so these are the rasters by layer name it has been set now we will go to library tera so we will remove these all things this also and we will get the library tera and function for reading raster or stack multiple band or single band is only rust here so just you have to take use function rust and read the bands and then plot them similarly you can see the names structure and dimension structure and then dimension then we will read other three three bands so these are all the four bands we have read now we will also read yeah, the already stacked raster this is true color composite and we can plot it so directly plot you can use and if you want to plot individual bind so that you have to use dollar sign like see i am removing it and it will be showing all the three bands are there so suppose you want band 2 so you can plot it like this now we can go for stacking so for stacking you have, you have to just use C as function in case of library Terra. So these, these rasters already we have created here, here by these lines of codes. So just run this and then plot stack. So it will be plotting all the four bands individually. Again. For plotting RGB, you have to use the plot RGB, then name of this stacked file, and then a stretch you have to use. So I have, I have used linear, so you just run it. So it is showing combination of band 2 as a NIR, 3 as red, and 4 as green because we have given the channels in this sequence. So for standard FCC, you have to give 4, 3, 2. So run it and for writing with tera actually this function write raster is function of tera itself so you have to use the same write raster here see i am writing here write raster you will see this is the function of package tera 
So same we can use here in the raster also and tail also. So this is how we can read and write multiple band and single band rasters and create multiple band raster from single band raster in R. And we have used library Terra and raster. Thank you for watching.